We always went on Saturday afternoon to the Cowboy Matinee. I remember coming here and watching Star Wars. There were five of us girls, and we would load up with a parent, and they would bring us up here, and we would get popcorn and candy and soda. The very first movie that I saw here at the Rogers Theater was The Lion King. I remember the Rogers of running around with my brothers and having my mom and dad and all the family together. It was just a really magical time. For nearly 70 years, the Rogers Theater has been a focal point of downtown Poplar Bluff. Over the decades, thousands of people have passed through its doors. While the use of the theater has changed over time, the mission has remained the same, to provide a place where people can enjoy themselves and create memories. In 1964, the Rogers family sold its theater chain to Carasotis Theaters, but the Rogers saga continued. For nearly 50 years, the Rogers continued to feature the best Hollywood had to offer. In the 1980s, in a nod to the growing popularity of multi-screen theaters, the balcony was closed off and a second movie screen was installed so that audiences could choose from two motion pictures. However, the days of the large movie houses were numbered. In 1998, Carasotas announced that the Rogers would be closing in favor of a new eight cinema complex. One of the last movies shown at the Rogers was the blockbuster Titanic. But the Rogers story was far from over. When the screen was down for the, the movies, um, you didn't know what was behind it. And uh, when the screen was gone and there was this big open stage here in front of us, it made perfect sense for live entertainment to come in here. And uh, not all theaters had that. A lot of times there was a brick wall not too far behind the screen itself. Um, so we were fortunate that it was designed in the way it is uh, to have all the space for a, a play or for a, a musical event or something like that. The first group that benefited from the Rogers was the Stage Company, a local community theater which has produced many well-known plays over the years. 